All right, guys, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Um, if anybody remembers Superstar Billy Graham, he he was a pretty good wrestler in the old WWWF. Uh, he became champion at one time, uh, and um, this was like in the 70s and, you know, early, you know, before the 70s and whatnot. But anyway, uh, I was reading some articles about Billy Graham, and he is he really said a lot of harsh things against the WWE uh, just recently. Um, he was talking about um, he almost vomited for the fact that uh, when Bo Dallas had his match on SmackDown with Xavier Woods after the match, he was jumping around um, like a little kid, and then he went and hugged Xavier Woods, and so Billy Graham said, he goes, he goes, what's this? He goes, it, it almost made me want to, to vomit, you know? And then they were talking about um, Cesaro. And uh, someone had stated that Cesaro needs some more time to develop. And he's hanging, out, hanging around with John Cena and learning from John Cena. And Graham said, who the F is Cena? Uh, to me, these remarks are, you know, probably in resentment. And whatnot, because the superstars today are making much more money than what they did back then. And um, you know, I, I, you know, it's almost like um, and we've heard a lot of remarks from Bret Hart in the past that he's bad mouthed the WWE in a lot of ways. And I think also Bret Hart had a lot of resentment as well. But superstar Billy Graham really is uh, showing, you know, his true colors, and, and you know, and and really, uh, for someone that was a WWF legend and whatnot, uh, you should be in defense of the WWE. I mean, you do have a right to your opinion, uh, but uh, some of the things you come out with are, are sometimes you you hear them and they're they're like totally ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I didn't understand that. But, I, you know, the one thing I did understand about it all was that uh, Billy Graham obviously has some resentment and jealousy. He also badmouthed uh, Adam Rose as well. Uh, he goes, what's this? An idiot coming out, sucking on a lollipop and whatnot. Um, obviously, these are gimmicks. And a lot of times gimmicks work. Um I'm not the biggest fan of the gimmick for Adam Rose. I'm not the biggest fan of the Fandango gimmick with the dancing uh, because I think Van, Fandango is being held back because they focus more on his dancing now with Layla uh, like they did with Summer Rae that, you know, you're focusing on his dancing and not his talent when he's in the ring. And I think they, you know, they really need to change that up. But, uh, you know, Adam Rose, um, he is a good wrestler. But um, personally, I don't I don't like the gimmick. There's a lot of people out there that, that think it's great, you know. So be it that's your opinion. But um, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, like destroy the WWE over the fact that I don't like the gimmick. I will give you my thoughts. I'll give you my opinions. Um, but by doing so, doesn't mean that I'm right. It's just an opinion by myself. And, um, you know, after watching years and years of wrestling, you've pretty much seen everything, you know, come down the highway. And, uh, you know, this is just another thing. It's just, you, you got to understand, uh, it's like a primetime TV show. The writers run out of ideas. And I think for like with the WWE, um, their creative team, has really come to a standstill. They they just really doesn't they don't know what to do anymore. So maybe it's time to bring in some fresh new writers and maybe they can come up with some fresh new ideas or you know bring in some fresh new writers to work with the creative team they have. I mean they can definitely afford it and maybe um, come up with some sort of ideas. But um, uh, I just think that Billy Graham's statements were uncalled for, and it's it's a lot to do with jealousy, and it's a lot to do with, you know, guys like Adam Rose. I mean, he's probably making more money 
with the WWE right now than Billy Graham did, you know, way back when after, you know, after being there for a number of years. I mean, be, the, the era is different. You know, people make more money now. You know, we all know that. I mean, the economy has changed. So, um, yeah, I just was a little disappointed in Billy Graham. I'm not surprised by his comments because he does, he's always seemed like that type of guy to me. Um, but, um, yeah, there's just a lot of jealousy. And it's, it's too bad because, you know, when you work for a company for so many years, you know, you would sort of like, you know, mostly defend them. Yes, base your, you know, give out your opinion and thoughts, but don't just, you know, come out and really, you know, trash them like Billy Graham did. So anyway, uh, payback is going to be on in like a couple hours, the pre-show. Uh, they're talking about adding the Usos and Harper and Rowan in a tag team title match, which I thought should have been on the card anyway. And um, so we'll see what develops there. So the card looks pretty good, although somewhat predictable. Uh, but again, we never know what the WWE is going to do until they do it. And there's always a lot of last minute changes. You know, if Vince McMahon is involved, there will be some last minute changes and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You know, if not, you know, a fairly predictable show, like I said, um, but um, you can guarantee that Cena and Bray Wyatt and Evolution and The Shield are going to be pretty much, you know, very good matches. So peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great time watching WWE Payback and we'll talk to you all later.